Hey all, Cy here! Well, I'm outside because it's warm today and I know this weather is going bye-bye soon because it's fall already. So I'm out here enjoying it and it's time for an OPP! So I'll just sit out here and we'll look at everything that came in this month for OPP. First, we have this welcome sign by Dennis Dupron. And he has a YouTube channel called Wood Den, and he has a video of him making this project. So I have a link down in the description so that you can go check that out. I don't have any other information about the sign other than that, but Dennis talks about it in his video. So there's a link down there and you can go check it out. So thanks for sending that in, Dennis. This next project is from Teresa, my cousin in Texas. And this is a colored pencil on sanded paper. And she said it took a lot longer for her to finish than she expected. But man, it's another masterpiece, Teresa. Oh, and did I tell everyone that she actually had one of her drawings submitted into a magazine? So very cool, Teresa. Thanks so much for sending that in. These next couple of projects are from Kurt Tuttle. And this first one, or first couple, are some wings that he made. And the patterns he got are from scrolleronline.com. And he said the pattern was really big and he had to like minimize it down. But he made one with this heart and he said the heart pattern is from Steve Good. And then he also made this one where he added a cross inside of the heart. So what he did here was he routered the wings and then around the outside, he actually cut that out. And this next project that he did is also a Steve Good pattern. And it's a segmented rose. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I'm going to link, leave a link as to as many patterns as I can this time. Um, some patterns I'm not sure who they're from, but some, the other ones that I'm sure of, I, I'll leave the link down. He had some cedar wood laying around, and so he cut this out of cedar, and then he also used pallet wood for part of it. And then he mounted it to an 8-inch round that he got from Lowe's. And then he finished it all off by putting three coats of clear gloss minwax poly. Then he also made this pattern, which is a free pattern by Kathy Wise. He said he made it and his wife saw it and said, that's mine. So now it's hanging up in their house so that they can enjoy it. And this last project by Kurt is this tic-tac-toe board. He said he made this out of scrap wood and he put it together and I think that's great for a little tic-tac-toe game. So cool. So thanks for sharing those, Kurt. This next project is from Jim Merrow and it is an intarsia pattern by Judy Gale Roberts called Dove and Chalice. And he gave me a list of all the woods that he used. He used Paduke for the Chalice, Aspen for the Dove, Aromatic Cedar for the Beak, Aspen for the Rays of Light, Western Red Cedar for the Stained Glass, and Walnut for the Frame and the Eye. And then he has a little note here. He says, special thanks to Judy, Judy Gale Roberts. I could not have achieved this level of accuracy and detail without the excellent teaching I received from Judy the last two years through the classes at the studio as well as the classroom and a tube lesson that she sells. Her videos on scrolling for accuracy were and continue to be very useful reference. And I agree with that because some good stuff on that video. And then I have a classroom and a tube that I am looking forward to, to uh, doing one of these days and learning. And also her books. You know, I learned a lot from reading her books. So thank you, Judy, for all that you do for this community. And thanks, Jim, for sharing this beautiful project that you've made. The next project is by Phil Gavin, and it is another Judy Gale Roberts pattern. And it's of this little Christmas owl. And then uh, he also told me all the woods that he used. This is a small project, but he used a lot of different woods and all those little pieces. So he used, oh, for the red, green, and white, he actually stained those pieces of pine. But everything else, he used Iroko, ash, maple, walnut, ebony, sapelli, oak, purple heart, paduke, wenge, and elm. And he finished it off with beeswax and shellac. So thanks for sharing that with us, Phil. It looks awesome. These last projects are from Max Reed, and he has quite a few intarsias here. These first couple are really cool because they are made after an actual dog. 
And so um, I love that. You did a great job on these, Max. And then he also made this Intarsia Lighthouse. Beautiful. He's also been making these receipt book holders, but he said it works really well for iPads too. So now all of his neighbors want him to make these for them. So he's busy making these. So good job, Max. And that concludes this episode of OPP. Thanks so much everybody who sent projects in and for letting me share them with the audience. And thanks everybody who's been watching. And oh, it just so feels so good out here. It's so warm. Oh. So if you made something that you want me to share on OPP, just send me an email. I'm gonna try to put my email right here if that's gonna work. And it's also in the description box. Um, I found that, you know, I said something about Facebook before that I really can't find things. Well, I just went on Facebook again and I, I can't even find my messages. <laughs> so please don't send me Facebook things. Send me email, email. Here comes a helicopter. There it is. Can you see it? White helicopter. Don't know who that was. I had a drone flying over me a couple days ago while I was walking the dogs. Weird. Anywho. Alrighty. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, Facebook. No. No. On Facebook I can't find my messages. So please send me an email. Alright. I hope you got a lot of ideas from those projects and... I hope to see you soon. Bye!